Hey, y'all. Oh, gosh. Now it's time to unwind. I was able to put the kids to bed. Now it's time for me to do what I usually do at night. I know I haven't created one yet, but this is half of it, okay? Just bear with me. So I decided to shave my face tonight. Yes, you heard me. This was long overdue. If you know, then you know. This is how I usually go about it. I'm sorry, guys. I usually get this done professionally, the dermal plan. So I decided to do it on myself this time because y'all already know if you guys know I don't have any time at all but as you can see look at all this hair on my face y'all Harry grizzly bear just call me that okay and I just wanted to prove to y'all to show you guys how hairy I am just by shaving it off gross can't believe I kept this on for so long but now you guys see how hairy your girl is. And I think just taking the biotin also causes that as well. I don't know. But because I had time to do this, I decided to do it. Because um, I didn't want to prolong it anymore. And um, so, as you can see, I was a bit nervous doing it. And I kind of like went really hard on it because this razor blade is sharp i tell you it's sharp is sharp so when you're doing it guys just be very careful take your time when it comes to doing this part on your face because remember our skin is sensitive and you want to follow the way your hair grows okay guys because when your hair grow back if you're not shaving it the way your hair grows then it will grow back really thick and you'll just mess up the um, the growing, um, what's the word I want to say? The uh, way the hair was growing all along. You don't want to mess that pattern up, okay? So just follow that. And it's so much easier too versus you trying to create a way of shaving your um, hair on your face. But as I'm doing this, I'm like, oh my gosh, my face is already glowing. It's glowing, y'all. And this is so good for your skin because it removes all the dead skin that's on your face anyway. As I was told. But I just like the way it looks, especially when you apply makeup. Oh my gosh, girls, ladies, if you know, then you know. If you don't know... And you like to apply makeup and your face is as hairy as mine. Shave your face. Shave it and you will see a huge difference. Oh my gosh. It's the best feeling ever. And it's the best look ever. You know. And you basically get to see all the dark spots and everything. And what you need to work on when it comes to your skin. And yeah, so this is, I guess, not only overdue, but also relaxing as well. It felt really good doing this, actually doing something for myself. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Gross. All that hair. <laughs> So, as you can see, that skin looking nice so far. But, of course, I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Because you know your girl already on top of that, as usual. But, as you can see, it's super quiet, right? You don't hear anything at all. Just imagine if my kids were up. Ugh, probably would have had so many scars on my face already. <laughs> 
doing this. Oh my gosh, you just have no idea. You were like, oh, your kids are great. They're good kids. Yeah, right. I'm telling you. I won't be able to do this in peace and quiet for sure. But I'm getting close to where I need to get to in order to make sure that I did not miss any spots here i usually don't do my eyebrows this way guys i use the nail uh, the little clipper for the nails that cut the cuticles that's how i go about doing my eyebrows because i want them to grow back thicker but they just haven't ever been able to grow thick anymore i don't know why i don't know if i should put castor oil on it or what in order to help it grow thicker but yeah i'm just cleaning up my face with it I mean, I wanted to be careful on this bar, too. I didn't want to look like I had a uni bra. A uni brow. I said bra. What? <laughs> but, guys know what I mean. So I'm shaping it, making sure that I don't remove too much or too little. Just wanted to even it out. And the lighting in the bathroom, y'all, is horrible. Like, the whole house lighting is so bad. So, I think one of these days, I'm just going to go ahead and add, like, new light bulbs in every, um, um, in every corner that does require light, like, brighter light. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but we'll figure it out eventually. The lighting is so bad. So I was just trying to be careful, as you can see. I was nervous here. My hands were shaking, y'all. It doesn't show that. I just want to let y'all know that I was... And I tell you, that razor was sharp, y'all. Oh, my God. It was so sharp. And certain ways that I would hold it in order to shave my face, it wouldn't work. You have to hold it a certain way in order for it to um, glide down smoothly and not painfully. Because there was one part where I was like, wait a minute. I went straight in and I really scarred myself on the side of my left side of my cheek. Or was that my right side? But to y'all, if it's the right side, it may appear um, on the left because that's how it's set up with the camera situation. But I will eventually show you what I'm talking about. So, you guys, ladies, do you have a hairy nostril? Mine's because my nostril flares up. So, I purchased that... Um, that razor from um walgreens to help remove the hairs um in my nose so now you can see there's nothing in there so don't ever do this guys don't ever finish shaving your face and then using a scrub that crap hurts but then again it felt good at the same time. But this body scrub, oh my gosh. If you ain't watched my vlog the other day and um, and did not see my little mini haul with Walmart, I purchased this body scrub in Walmart and oh my gosh, it's the best. It's the best so far. Like it actually gets it done. Don't forget your neck, guys. Your neck requires... Um, moisture as well as scrubs and everything and makeup a lot of people forget about that when people add on makeup they forget about their neck like uh how do you expect the makeup to look natural and blend in so yeah guys i just wanted to make sure i did not miss any spots on my face and and i'm gonna show you where look at it look at that glow 
Look at that glow. You cannot tell me I have missed any spots on my face at all. Because that glow is serious. Mm-hmm. Can't tell me nothing. All right, guys. I just hopped out of the shower. Now I'm putting on witch hazel on my face. But you, I see that little bruise I was telling y'all about. That cut. You see it? It's not so bad, but I feel it as applying the um the witch hazel. Kind of burn a little bit. But yeah. That felt so good, y'all. I'm so proud of myself that I was able to get this finally done. So I'm just going to let the witch hazel dry up while I put on deodorant. And I also put body lotion on too. Every night. I don't know about y'all's skin, but my skin, it dries up really fast, especially hopping out the shower because I take really warm showers. This is the lotion that I use, y'all. It's really good. It, it glides on like butter, like it says it does. So this is the uh, serum that I use. It's pretty good. I like it so far. And I also use the Olay 24-Hour Hydration Cream for the Vitamin C one. It's also good. They both um, work really well together. So, I put way too much y'all on this part because a little bit go a long way, a long way. Oh, yeah, rub it in, girl. Rub it in. But I'm glad you guys were able to watch how I go ahead and shave my face. And I don't shave my face every night. Of course not. But this is the steps I take. I use scrub on my face. Not all the time, but... And then moisturize is very important, y'all. It's very important that you do it about it that way. And yeah, guys, I'm doing that little. My mom used to do this when I was young and I used to watch her a lot. So basically it helps like if you have a double chin to like um, con contour it by or shape it up by um, doing those um, circular motion. And then, you know, we have the lymphatic nodes around our neck area, too. If you do your research and you know where they're at to drain the uh the fat and and the fluids and stuff like that. So yeah, y'all, like I said, thanks for watching. And your girl is about to go and go to sleep and so I can wake up early tomorrow and do this all over again by taking the kids to school and focusing and getting training done. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Manana, damn it.
bed on time. Alright guys, morning. good morning. Bye guys. Be good. Love you. Be good. Love you. See you guys later. Bye. You too. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome. Welcome, fam. Listen, I'ma just jump on, jump on here and just let y'all know. Forget Vlogmas, okay? I'm not gonna stress myself out over Vlogmas because it, it is stressful. Trying to keep up with day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? It's hard. So if y'all miss a vlog for me, don't worry about it. Just focus on the jobs, okay? <laughs> but thank you so much for the love. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all and thanks for continuing supporting and loving all my channel. Guys, I don't know what to do. Alex still struggling in math. And I won't even be able to take him to tutoring when I start my new schedule. The only time I'll be able to take him to tutoring is only like actually one day out the week which would be tuesday because that's when i'm off and then after that there's no use to taking him and then anyways tutoring just does their homework with them they don't really get in depth so i need to really really look into i need to reach out to the school to see if they have any tutoring programs for them like after school tutoring programs. They should have that here. I know when I was back in school, they had all of that and it was for free. What's a girl to do? What's a girl to do? But look at my face, bro. It looks so good and it feels so good. But I, um, I think the razor was too sharp or my hands were too or I was just too rough on my skin I kind of like scrape it really hard on one side where it caused it to like really like hurt a little bit but I, I can't see it no more I can't see the bruises anymore I still got the wrinkles on my face though from waking up but it looks so flipping good. And this is the best time to do it, guys, because the sun is not out. Because usually when you do this, they say you got to stay out the sun because you could get sunburn. And I actually used to go and get this done. It's called Dermaplan. And um, I used to get it done from this nail tech. They used to do my nails, but they went out of business. I don't know if they went out of business or not, but they're no longer at their spot anymore. And the way she used to do it, she didn't use a razor blade. She used it. She used the threading. So as she's threading my eyebrows, she's threading um, my face as well. And that crap used to hurt, but it lasts. It lasts me like a good what um, month? I would say. But now, I gotta start doing it myself. And as you can see, last night, I built the courage and the energy. Since the kids were knocked out too, I said, it's it's time to do it. Because if they were up and I was trying to wax my face, I meant shave my face, yeah, I, I would have cut myself. <laughs> 
I would have cut myself because they wouldn't let me shave my face in peace.
so I'm logged in already, guys, but I have five more minutes to spare. Um, it's just me and the two trainers that's logged in right now. And because they put us in a group chat, a couple of people will be late to class. It's only 11 of us. <laughs> Can you believe that? That's one small training class I've ever been in. So let's see if these 11 people will actually stay and let's deal with the fact that um, this is customer service work. I'm using my other phone uh, because it seems to have more um, more space than the other one. Because the other one is constantly telling me, oh, you don't have enough space. You need to make more storage. You need to delete some apps. And I realized, girl, you got more space on the other phone. Why don't you use it? The reason why I don't use it as much, because it's like the big one. It's the 11 Pro Max, and it's heavy. If you got it, then you know what I'm talking about. This is the iPhone 11. And it's so light. So I prefer it. So it's just three of us. Well, now it's four. God be with me. I just called a kid's father. And I'm telling him to pick up his son. He's like, oh, I'm going to let you know. I'm just... He's the devil. And I'm not going to let the devil win right now. Like, seriously. I'm just over it. It's because I give him options. That's why. So I'm going to write down a schedule for his ass and make sure that he falls, falls through with it. Like, at least, because I know his most busiest would be probably a Wednesday. But still, shit. My busiest days are every day. Like, what the fuck? That's my problem. I'm too fucking nice. I make it so convenient for him. To a point where he don't have to do shit at all. But. I don't know. God is with me. And, and I'm going to get through it. <sighs> All right, one more minute until it's time for us to show our faces. this camera shit dog. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Let me see. I need to write this down. Get my life in order. Do you ever have to write any things down, guys? Okay, so... When is my car insurance due? And my light is due in two days. I don't even know. And I delete it. Fuck. Hopefully if I just type it in, it will just come through. I forgot to log in. 
Okay, so I'm logged in. Mm. Me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, okay. No problem. It's not even showing me on my payment as What is the passcode? Okay. I did say I was going to scoop it over to the side a little bit. So they gave us a little break just so we could wake up because a lot of people talking about they're under the weather. They're posting it in the comments. And I just really want to wash my face because I just want to wake up. It's like what I did this morning did not wake me up. So. <sighs> Maybe cold water with the... I washed my face with warm water <laughs> this morning. Super. It's like we're going over stuff that we don't, we're not even gonna um, go over with the customer. And she even said that. But I guess she's doing it because that's how she was trained. So. But. I just hope that she teaches all the necessary stuff that we need to learn. Oh. <sighs> 
I think I'm wide awake. I want to wide awake. <laughs> that jukebox done started early this time. Okay. Don't come for me. Because <laughs> it's too late. But. <laughs> Y'all, I get daily pay. I just checked my daily pay, and boy, do I have some money in there. <laughs> I got some money in there. So exciting. But it's not exciting to pay these bills. Oh, yeah, I did say I was going to go ahead and grab um, the insurance bill. I couldn't find it in my email because I went, I deleted my inbox last night because I had like close to 4,000 emails that I did not delete. Thank God I didn't throw it away because I usually throw my bells away because I do everything online. So I'm on a Facebook um, group. I say Facebook. I'm on a WhatsApp group for your niece's um, school, right? And she, uh, one of the parents was like, my son adores. Clearly, of course, she spells her name wrong. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a boy too. Her dad is gonna go crazy. I'm like, who is this boy? <laughs> Why is he loving on my daughter? But let's see when this is due. Because he knows it. Instead of. They sent me an email, but like I told you, I got rid of it. This is due when... It says pay now. It's due on the 16th. So the light is due in two days, and the insurance is due. I'm going to put it in my notebook here. This is not it, though. I got the wrong paper. But anyway, let's get back to the exciting.
y'all did y'all miss me because i missed y'all my break is um it gave us 15 minute break so y'all know i have to update y'all with the train the train started off smooth until somebody went in and messed it up of course hold on y'all i think i'm gonna make me sign an e So, yeah, so let me tell y'all, right? So, of course, this one is not listening. Obviously, she wasn't paying attention because if she was, she wouldn't be asking dumb questions, right? So, she told us to um, log in, like, where we were supposed to, because um, she wanted us to listen to a call. So, she walking us through the process on how to do so. So, obviously, somebody wasn't listening because they were asking the question, Again, after she went over it with us. Let me place you again. Right? So, um, while we in the middle of listening to a call, she interrupts. She gets on the mic and interrupts and says, oh, um, excuse me, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> so, I'm mad. We're already on camera. So, my facial expression, they seeing it. Everybody's seeing it. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one. Because everybody else that was following the, um, the instructions was listening to the call. That was a sign for us to listen to. So, the trainer, she kept her cool because that's what she's supposed to do. But one of the um, <laughs> one of the people in the class was like, oh, I was just making sure that everybody was done with their calls first before I interrupted. I'm like... Shade. If that ain't shade, I don't know what is. <laughs> I said, if that's not shade, I don't know what you call that because that is straight up shade. <laughs> it was way too funny. It was too funny to me, y'all. I found that so funny. I don't know why. But I don't know if the girl caught up with it, though. <laughs> oh, man. Today is Wednesday. Happy hop day, y'all. Happy hump day. I'm moving so slow as if I have an hour break. <laughs> so I hope you guys were able to pull up Ship Smart and was able to find something in your region. I hope so. Hope you guys were able to. Because it ain't nothing like getting extra money. Any of y'all ever did like the mystery shopping before? Because that's one of the things that popped up on the app for me on Shift Smart was Shift Smart. And I'm nervous about it. But the funny part is like I don't need it I don't need to be nervous about it because it gives you like the different steps that you would need to follow. Basically it gives you an update before it gives you an idea on what to expect when you go there. So you won't seem like you're a mystery shopper because you're not supposed to tell the people that that's what you're doing. <laughs> so if I'm afraid that I might be the one doing that because they want you to like pretend that you're buying stuff when you're really not. So it's like steps to it that you have to follow. You know, first of all, you have to take a picture showing that you're really at the location. So you got to make sure that you're in the picture and the building that you are assigned to go to is right behind you. And then after that, um, and then that's when you go in and pretend that you're purchasing something and the questions that you need to ask of the person is on the little guide itself. It's pretty cool. I mean, when I was reading, I was like, really, that's it? It's just like me. I don't know if I will do well with doing that. I don't know. I'm always doubting myself, y'all. Y'all already know me. I'm 
always gotten myself. But I've always was curious about becoming a mystery shopper. And they do have that option on there as well. And in my region, they're actually paying, some of them are paying $15 an hour and some of them are paying $18 an hour. So I thought that was cool. But it doesn't, it doesn't show it being available today. So I guess it's a lot of people that are actually doing that. I don't need it. I'm in training. I won't have time to do it anyway. Because after training, I have to tend to my kids and make sure that we have dinner ready for them. Yesterday, I made spaghetti alfredo with the mushrooms in it. Oh, man, they tore it up like it was no tomorrow. Oh, no, my babies were so hungry. Because they're not big foodie kids. They don't eat as... They like junk food. So... When they eat, that means that they were extremely hungry. But it was it was so yummy. It was so yummy. I added a little bit of seasoning and you know the mushroom when you cook it, it just provides that flavor. And boy oh boy was it good. With the Alfredo sauce, it was so yummy. But guys later on or maybe on the weekend i might end up writing my new year's resolution i did keep my old sheet just to make sure to see if i would follow through on everything that i wrote down on that sheet and some i did not follow through with i ain't gonna lie i don't know if y'all remember last year when i made that video saying that oh i want to learn a new language Girl, what time did I have to learn a new language? No time whatsoever. <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, I want to start working out, waking up early. What else did I say? Drink more water. I mean, I've been drinking water, but not as much as I, not as much as our body needs it. You know? Oh, I make sure I take my vitamins every day. Oh. I haven't taken my vitamins going on three days now, y'all. And after eating this, I think I will be taking it. Because one thing about my vitamins, I don't have to take it with foods. I don't. And I'm glad. Because I'm not a breakfast person. Only like when I wake up hungry, I will eat breakfast or I will make it. But other than that, you won't see me eating no breakfast or making any. Right now I'm just hungry though. Coffee got me extremely hungry. So, you know what really got to me today? Like, okay, in the training class, they want us to read. I guess they want to wake us up. Or maybe they want to see if we know how to read. I don't know. But they got us reading, we're going through the modules and they got us reading the modules. So this girl volunteers to read. First of all, you volunteer to read so you see how long the uh, module is. As she reading, she's like, oh, this is, uh, um, what did she say? She said, oh, this is a mouthful. I wanted to say, B.I., you've seen that before even volunteering. Like, why would you? <laughs> What's wrong with these people? And another one, she volunteers to read. And then she's like, oh, my gosh, this is a lot to read. Like, she did not call you out to read. You volunteered to read. So what's going on here? Going on. I don't know. People are just weird. people are just weird. like I don't volunteer to do anything. Like if you call me out, if you call my name and say, "Hey, read," I'll read it. But I'm not volunteering because I'm not in the mood to. But 
Sally, 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 I think that's what's gonna keep me with this company for real because daily pay is but you know what i won't be able to enjoy the money the bill will the bills will that's one thing guys i'm gonna give me an rv bump that i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get on that van life <laughs> i'm gonna get with it because these people but i know it's not the best way to live especially with two kids hell no i would go crazy they would go crazy we all would go crazy but i'm just saying like oh my gosh what a way to save money or just buy land and get the rv and just live on that land you get it i'm tired of paying these people money for rent i don't even want to buy a house because i don't even think i want to be here forever I don't know. Buying a house is an investment. You know, but... And if I buy a house, it'll be for my kids. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot. But my breakfast is ready. Breakfast, breakfast. Look at that. Mushroom with eggs. Or fried eggs. How do you guys like your eggs? Like scrambled, sunny side up, fried. How do you like it? I ain't gonna judge you, I promise. Comment down below, let me know how you like your eggs. Cause I like mine fried, but well done. Mm -hmm. I need a George Foreman. I used to have one when I used to live in a apartment complex. That was like probably like six years ago. And um, I used to use it for the Cuban breads. If y'all know the Cuban breads, um, uh, it's one of those whole breads that you gotta, um, you know, customize it the way you want to. And I will make those egg sandwiches with it. Oh my gosh. So I would add like butter, like I would cut the bread in half because it would be like well, one of those thick loaf of breads. Cut it in half, add butter on one side and add cheese on the other. And then I will put the egg in there and then I will put it in the George Foreman. And I would just, oh my gosh, I would flatten that thing as hard as possible. And then when it's completely done, when it's sizzling and the cheese melted and the butter melted on top of the eggs. Just talking about it making my mouth water. I would cut it in half. Bread is not good for me though. So I don't... That's one thing I need to stop thinking about. Bread. I'll wash these dishes later. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the room. I call that MF looking inside my, try to look inside my goddamn room. I'm like, what is wrong with this psychopath? Oh no. How did my camera cut on when I cut it off? Anyway. I thought I cut my camera off. I guess I got too excited <laughs> to log off. But um, anyways, the way the camera is set up, y'all, they don't see my whole face. They see like more of the ceiling. So the way you're seeing me now, all they see is this. That's all they're going to get. They're not going to see my nose or my lips. So... Unless if I lean over, you get what I'm saying? Then they will see. But other than that, mm -mm. let me show y'all what I mean. This is what I mean. You see how it's positioned up? 
That's all they get. Talking about, oh, we can't use the um the filters for the background. Like, dude, do you see? Like, they want to see everything, y'all. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Like, they want to see everything, y'all. We're not allowed to blur our background, and that's what was going on with me. Um, everybody had, like, a um, a background or a blur. My thing was a blur, and it was like, oh, you can't have that. You got to remove it. We need to see everything. I'm like, hell no, nah, they're not going to see everything. So what I did was I just repositioned my camera to a point where I'm comfortable. And they haven't said anything yet about it, so... But they said, after training, we won't have to worry about being on camera anymore. So, thank God. So. <clears throat> mm. So good. I will see y'all when it's time to go pick up your niece, okay? I might have to pick up her brother as well because his father, their father is not giving me a exact answer, so. And I know that he's gonna hit me up probably with a solving story or probably not, you know? He's been trying to impress me these past couple of months. I don't need you to impress me, doll. Like, seriously, I just need you to do your job. That's it. Be your father to your kids, and that's it. That's all I ask. Don't worry about me and you, because it would never be a me and you. Just be there. I got my vitamins, y'all. <sighs> And I went to grab some coffee real quick. But I put in the notes, be right back. BRB. I just felt like I was getting like sleepy. So I went to go get me some coffee and grab my vitamins. What I take is I take omega, the fish oil. I take biotin. I take the multivitamins. I take vitamin C and vitamin D. But I'm running out of vitamin C, so I need to get back on and order some. And the kids are running out as well, so I need to order their vitamins again. So remember, guys, if you want to purchase some vitamins, go on iHerb.com. My 20% um, my off code is, I think it's 15%. It's um, in the description box down below. So it will say L-U-S. And I forgot what the uh, rest of it will say. But it says iHerb.com. I'll put it down here in the description box down below. And then if I remember what the code is, um, the 20% off, I will also put it down here somewhere so you can see what it means. But you have to click on the link in the description box down below, okay? You can always click on your orders and that will take you back to um, what your order was last time you were on the site. So you won't have to go like do everything all over again.
So we're on lunch, y'all. She let us have lunch early because she's having like um, technical issues with her electricity. Oh, there it goes. The first order. I got the iHerb order I was telling you guys about. The first order. So get yours today. That's the vitamins. I'll unbox it when I get home. I'm gonna go pick up my princess. It's so nice. I, I don't even need a sweater. Stay like this, yeah, right. Not in Southwest Florida. Beautiful. And I'm enjoying training, y'all. Very productive. We're learning how to um, navigate the system, and they have like the uh, simulation videos where it shows you like what the uh, system looks like and how you would go along with handling certain things for the customer so we get in there i need to fix my backyard i haven't been in my backyard for a while and the reason why let me tell y'all let me tell y'all why so first of all the back door is a little jammed right and then the little part that they had attached to it came off so it's like a little hole in the um, door area, right? So now I need to call them so they can actually do something about it. But if you know, I really don't like weird people in my house like that, especially when they were coming in to do the construction. I was worried about that too, but what can I do? It's not my property, it's their property. So either way it goes, they're still gonna have access to their property because they have a spare key. You get what I'm saying? So, regardless if I like it or not, that's just what it is. So, but um, yeah, so far so good, y'all. So far so good. Today's hot day, and I did get a, a text message back from their father. He's saying that he's gonna go pick up little Alex. My little man. So that's the least of my worries. I mean, it wasn't going to stress me out anyway because I would just have to tell the trainer that I have to go and pick up my son. And I have to tell her that I won't be able, that I'll be leaving early on the 28th because I forgot they both have their physicals on that date. So I have to send her like a personal email saying that. I don't know if I should send it now since we're, it's only the 12th. And their um, appointment is in like in two weeks. I don't know, but I think they're pretty cool about it. As long as you follow the rules and it's not something that happens frequently. Cause she even said it, she said they're very understanding. As long as it's not something that happens frequently, then they're all right with it. And then also they have the, we have the opportunity to text them too. So if something were to happen, and we can't get back online. We could get back on that group chat that they created. So we can go ahead and communicate that way as well, which works. Which works. I don't know. Like I've been, I've been feeling nauseous lately. And it's not even my cycle. Because in one more day, my cycle will end. And no, guys, I'm not sexually active. I'm not pregnant. So... I don't know if it's in the air that I'm getting sick or something like that, but I don't know. Yesterday, I just felt like throwing up after having the rice cake. So, I don't know. That's why I popped those vitamins, just in case of anything, I don't get sick. So... I just hope that
Hello, I'm here to... Oh, no, I haven't yet. That's right, I'm glad you... I'm glad you reminded me about that. Pretty good in you. Wow, that's a huge garbage okay. bag. <laughs> just regard the bag, okay? <laughs> we just kind of cover it. Oh, wow. That's if you would sign, that's for the Rotary Club. They donated, so we want to make sure we say thank you. Oh, thank you for your gifts. Oh, and just sign? Just, yeah. Just sign okay. Thank you so much. I wrote a story on there. <laughs> I said I wrote a story. <laughs> I'm joking. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. 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 Have a good day. Oh, okay. So, but I can't show you what it is because I got to wrap it up and put it under the Christmas tree. Okay. How was school? Did you enjoy it? Who? Elijah? Who is Elijah? <sighs> that was a big bag, y'all. Did y'all see what was in there? I'm definitely gonna wrap it up and put it in a Christmas tree. Definitely gonna do that. Okay. So now I got a car behind me. Hopefully. The car's not being a dick about letting me through. I can't get out. Either way it goes, I'm always being blocked. No matter what. they say you know your car you know the length of it but I'm out hopefully the car is not coming my way so we made it home so you know what I'm just going to wrap the gifts before my son get, gets home because he, he 
she be the one that be like real thirsty about the um, gifts. <laughs> My daughter really doesn't care too much. She will tell them what's in it though, for sure. She wants her best friend everything. It's so good, right? Come on. You wanna hug me? You will when I'm when I get inside the house. I can't put this down. Since we have 10 more minutes, start um, wrapping the gifts from Louis Store. So I got all everything here with me. So the first one is this one. Don't come, don't come in a room, Lily. Don't worry about the phone. I got it. Just don't come because I don't want you to see what's going on. Of myself. <laughs> so proud. The train is not even on the camera yet. So she probably still expressing some issues. It's four items. It's the shoes on top. The shoes that's under um, the second item is an outfit. And the one under that is a puzzle. And the other one is Lego, like blocks. Think 
constantly remembering my passwords and my credentials. Which one is that one? That one is this. Let's unbox my I heard box, guys. The crazy part was I placed the order and forgot I placed it. So I don't even think I can stop the order. So they just sent it monthly instead of me having to keep placing an order every time. This is the fish oil Omega Chewables. tired and I don't know <laughs> what do you call this face I'm exhausted y'all and we're supposed to be going on our 15 minute break soon she's just waiting until everybody answers her question I'm just uh, so over it but I'm not over the dating pay though that thing is looking lovely 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 so hungry. I don't know what to cook. Put these up in the pot.
We go lay down and be with my princess. Princess! Feel like I abandoned you, sweet cheeks. You want an apple? You ate chips. Remember, you gotta tell me what you doing. Yeah, so it won't be stale, okay? You gotta close it up. So it won't be stale, baby. Good? No, I'm sorry. I'm stuck with that crap for another two hours. Uh, I know that's how you're feeling like, what, mommy? Thank you, Father God. My kids are blessed. Look at all these gifts under the Christmas tree. And this is from the tutoring and Lily's teacher. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you, none of these gifts consist of mommy nor daddy yet. So just imagine when me and daddy buy gifts, it's gonna be overflowing. I am so thankful and grateful, Father God, for everything you continue doing for me and my family. I. I'm so blessed and thankful and grateful. You feel me? Like, oh my gosh. I didn't even think this was going to happen. But probably tomorrow, y'all, I might just go to Dollar Tree and get their stocking um, stuff. Like things. Miscellaneous stuff to put in their stockings. It would be so cool. I didn't do that last year, but this year I will do it because i think it's cool and i think it's fun but guys i don't want to like make this vlog any longer but i know some of you guys enjoy long videos i guess i'll continue on until training ends what you think let me know if you prefer long vlogs type long vlogs in the comment um box down below all right let me know if you want long vlogs or short ones. All right, let me close my eyes for like, probably like, I don't know how many minutes it is now. Let me see how much I can get by the time the timer goes off. <sighs>